Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Bevan Dufty. I'm Mayor Lee's Director of Hope, Housing Opportunity, Partnerships and Engagement. And we welcome you here uh, on the occasion of the 46th Project Homeless Connect. I want to do a, a couple of acknowledgments. Our Director of Public Health, Barbara Garcia, is not uh, here, but I want to acknowledge the important role that Department of Public Health plays in Project Homeless Connect and responding to homelessness. We are uh, fortunate to have with us our Director of the Human Services Agency, Trent Rohr, is here, and so I want to acknowledge Trent. And Joyce Crum is here, who is a deputy to Trent uh, with Homeless Services, and obviously the partnership between HSA and Department of Public Health are probably th the most important relationship in serving uh, poor, low-income, uh, homeless, and marginally housed individuals. I also want to acknowledge that Alex Turk is here, and Alex was uh, a staff quarterback for then Mayor Newsom with Project Homeless Connect, and so today really is a homecoming, uh, both for our Lieutenant Governor and for Alex to come and see how the torch has continued to be carried for PHC and having a very dynamic response to homelessness in San Francisco and to providing uh, an opportunity for thousands of San Franciscans to make a difference in the lives of those that are homeless. And so we have an exciting announcement. And without further ado, I want to welcome our mayor, Mayor Edwin Lee. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. And thank you, Bevan, for being such a great director of hope. That's just a wonderful, wonderful title for San Francisco. Uh, we just kicked off the 46th uh, Project Homeless Connect event uh, with Lieutenant Governor Newsom and Bevan and others and uh, with Blue Shield who are uh, hosting our, all of our volunteers today. Uh, we have served now uh, since the eight years that Project Homeless Connect has started under then Mayor Gavin Newsom some 64,000 individuals and we've transformed lives as a result of these bi-monthly sessions where we've got incredible uh, numbers of uh, companies, whether they're dentist companies or optometrists or people, individuals from different neighborhoods in San Francisco, offering uh, their willingness to share their compassion for the homeless and taking care uh, of them in so many different ways on these bi-monthly basis. And, you know, when you take this great idea that uh, then Mayor Newsom had and knowing that it set the standard now uh, for so many cities across the country to really connect up with our homeless and treat them directly and bring them the services that they need for these few days, we started talking with our partners, our community-based partners, our, certainly our Department of Public Health, our human services agencies, our volunteers, and our corporate partners as well, and started conversations about where does this go? Are we satisfied uh, for our constituents, for the homeless, for people who we're trying to serve? Are we satisfied? with providing them these great services uh, once every two or three months. Well, we're not, because we're still in the business of transforming lives. And guess what? That means a commitment every single day. It doesn't mean just coming out and doing what we could do on a couple times basis. But could we do it even better? Well, I think we take the next step. And the next step is what we're announcing today, to extend these services on an everyday basis with a 24-7 ability, including the weekends. It's going to be a project called Everyday Connect. And it begins with uh, persons who are in need calling 311 and having a center located on 25 Van Ness Avenue to be able to provide that service and a toll-free number that anyone can use so they could uh, reserve the ability to get special and unique things that they might need, whether it's some counseling, some housing, or a, a haircut, or some other things that may need some preparatory time, they can access that services. It also means that uh, corporate uh, donations can be had on an ongoing basis. They don't need to wait for the every two or three months event, but that if there's a gift card that uh, a corporation can donate, we can use that on an everyday basis. This means that our homeless uh, individuals out there, whether they're veterans or people struggling, can have an everyday ability to connect up with us using 311 or a toll-free number or coming down to our center on an everyday basis. You know, everyday Connect is just that wonderful, disciplined uh, extension that Mayor Newsom 
had started when he had a vision, we can do something more. This city has always been about our hearts. It's always been about what we can do with our minds and hearts together on a sustained basis. And it was led so beautifully. And uh, as the city administrator for Mayor Newsom at the time, I just jumped up and down to see all of the different agencies come together uh, with the volunteers in the community and give hope on a sustained basis. Now we get to do this uh, even more, even more regularly, because if we can then provide that service on an ongoing basis, I think we have a better ability to even say and convince people, let's come out of the streets. Let's come out of the rain. Let's get us into a safe environment on a sustained basis as well. And this is why I'm investing so much in people. I'm investing in uh, housing. I'm investing in our services to collaborate with each other and with the private sector to have this on an ongoing basis so we can get people in their permanent transformation. So congratulations to all the agencies uh, for coming together on such a great, great cause. And this is the way I get to uh, just re-welcome in somebody that's been such a wonderful leader and he's doing it at the state and, and I think is going to really help our state transform as well. Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom. Thanks, Mayor. Thanks, Mayor. I'm glad the mayor's recovering from that sickness upstairs, but uh, I'm going to leave that to him to give you the punchline of what I'm talking about. Uh, but uh, as I extended my appreciation to Mayor Lee, he didn't need to step this program up. He didn't need to reinvest uh, in this effort. He could have easily justified starting something different, started something new, put it in his own image. And I'm incredibly humbled and grateful that he has been willing to dive in as he has to scale this program, to continue uh, to provide the energy and leadership that is required and needed. Uh, you can't just sit back passively and watch these things continue to grow. You've got to invest uh, in those efforts and these kinds of initiatives. And so I'm grateful to him. I'm grateful to Bevan Dufty, who as a supervisor, uh, was, you know, respectfully one of the few, uh, and Trent Roy, you know this, that consistently showed up to Project Homeless Connect and volunteered quietly, not for any self-aggrandizement, that really cared about this program. And so the two of them uh, are, are extraordinary leaders in this area, and I'm extraordinarily grateful. Uh, to the new leadership team here, uh, thank you for stepping up and stepping in as well. Uh, you got big shoes to fill. Uh, we had great folks running this for many years uh, that committed themselves extra hours of the day, that volunteered as much as they contributed their formal time uh, to this effort. And to all those volunteers, it's just a, it's a, always an amazing thing. You know, this is what citizenship is about. Uh, at a time when people are increasingly disconnected between government uh, and uh, solving problems to see this kind of energy in this city. Uh, you know, don't take that for granted. I travel the rest of the state in this country. You don't see this everywhere. And Mayor Lee, I, I just think that's something you, you know, you know this, but you need to be constantly reminding people uh, what a special place this is, San Francisco. People give a damn and people are stepping in and stepping up and, uh, and not giving up. And so I, I just, uh, every time I come back home, uh, I'm reminded of that, and this is a big part of that. And we talk about the soul of the city. That soul is represented uh, in this type of contribution. Uh, final point, you know, I mentioned uh, my admiration and respect for Alex Turk for leading this effort many, many years ago, uh, and I just want to do that again. Uh, I want to thank as well uh, the corporate sponsors uh, and to all of those folks that have committed over many years to this project. They didn't show up once. I think when folks want to show up once, they realize quickly they can't because there's something special going on here, uh, and they continue to contribute. And this thing just gets bigger and better. 260 cities now, two countries around the world have replicated this model. Uh, that's something to be proud of. Uh, so thank you all very much. 24-7, permanent Project Homeless Connect as it relates to day in, day out. And final point, it reminds me uh, of an old line, and it's just true. There is, you know, it's true in life. There is no having made it. Uh, success is not a place. When it comes to homelessness, this is particularly true. Success is not a place or a definition, it's a direction. So you gotta keep at this permanently. And so the idea of making this 24 seven, not just bi-monthly, I think is very meaningful in that endeavor to lean forward and continue to raise the bar of expectation. Thank you guys very much. Yeah.
So a tremendous amount of thought and planning has gone into Everyday Connect and to build on the success of Project Homeless Connect and to recognize that they're excellent agencies and organizations that are serving and meeting the needs of homeless and marginally housed individuals. And so with the Department of Public Health, the support of the Human Services Agency, I want to next introduce the director of Project Homeless Connect will be leading Everyday Connect to talk to you about the role and the special part that Everyday Connect is going to play in San Francisco, Kara Zordell. All right, Kara. Thank you. Thank you. San Francisco is one of the most generous places. When I look around the crowd of volunteers, I see the person who bags my groceries at Whole Foods mm -hmm. because I invited them. I see the neighbor of one of the other volunteers and the, their grandmother and their cousin. It's addictive. Once you come and you start helping, you see that you can make change. And as Lieutenant Governor Newsom said, PHC works because we don't believe that a one-size model fits all. Every single person needs individualized services, and that's what Everyday Connect does. We connect with the 200 different nonprofits that are doing amazing work here in the city already with the homeless, but perhaps they don't have a case manager that knows where to get a wheelchair fixed, or perhaps they have somebody who desperately needs a haircut for a job interview, but they don't have that resource. We, by using our volunteers and by using the generosity of San Franciscans, can mobilize those resources so individuals' needs are individually served. The other thing that's exciting is we don't just give a slip of paper that says, here, go to that place, get l good luck, talk to Kathy. What we say is, here is the person that you're going to see. Here's what the office is going to look like. Do you want one of us to come with you? Do you have Metro Fair? We close the loop. So whether it's a client who's needing to go to a dentist appointment, whatever it is, we aren't just going to give a referral. We're going to make sure from service to the service delivery that it's completed so that people aren't just left there needing to go to 10 or 20 different places. It's really exciting, and I want to thank Mayor Lee, Lieutenant Governor Newsom, and Bev and Dufty for all of their support. This project could not happen without a government that puts aside, a city government that puts aside everything else and says, what can we do for the people here in our city? Those most vulnerable, what can we do? And this is what we're doing. And I'm so excited and honored, blessed. Please go to our website, projecthomelessconnect.com. Find out ways that you can be a part, because I promise you, once you start getting a part of this crowd, you're never going to want to quit. It's addictive. We love what we do. And, you know, the last thing is there's so many people that are lonely. We have clients every day come in the office and say, I'm lonely. No one looks at me on the street. This is the time that they get to walk through those doors and we offer a glass of water. We say, what do you need? The way of getting people off the street is building relationships. And that's what we as a city are doing with those in need. So thank you, San Francisco. So I think what we'll do is, I know the mayor and the lieutenant governor will be here for a few minutes, give the media the opportunity to interview them individually, and uh, we'll break it up. And thank you all so much for coming, and we look forward to your involvement in Everyday Connect. Thanks so much.